Hi guys and ladies, I found an easy recipe online for baked fish and at first I thought, bleh, baked fish. Then I read the reviews. This gets five stars from everyone. Everyone raved with praise, so I need to get a couple of small bass to make this. Let's see if we can catch them. So I'm going to start off with this. It's a little 1 8 ounce nondescript spinner bait. I'm not a tackle junkie. I'm more of a user of junkie tackle. Let's see how we do. This is the size we need to remove from the lake anyway. And it's the perfect, perfect size for eating. There's one. Okay. Another one. This is what I'm looking for. I thought something hit it. That's a That's going to about do it. This is just the kind I need to remove from the lake. There he is, right at the boat. Aha! My other fish got excited when they saw this guy. Yes. Yes. Who would have thunk a big crappie? Wow, they like these smaller bass lures, you know. That's a nice little crappie. I'll use him for extra food in case we need it. Almost uh, 13 inches. Let's go fillet the fish. Once again, I had a lot of fun fishing yesterday. I got over a pound of nice fillets. I'm going to put these babies back in the fridge for a bit and make a little vegetable side dish. I've never done this before. I'm trying to cook green beans in three quarters cup of salted water. These are frozen. I'm supposed to boil this. I don't know how much salt to put in the water, so I don't know teaspoon maybe we got the water boiling and here's the package of green beans some of it went in the pan and uh, the rest went on the stove now I've got to bring this water up to a second boil then cover it for like eight minutes to cook our beans you know I could have used canned beans they were already cooked but no I thought this might be fresher and now I'm sorry it's more work I'm going to drain this now it's really boiling. Here's two tablespoons of butter. Let's start sauteing. Here's some thinly sliced onion rings. About a medium or small onion will do. I'm also supposed to saute two stalks of celery chopped, but who has time to chop? So I got these at the store. Here's a four ounce can of mushrooms. 
this whole thing has to saute for about 20 minutes. So what I'm doing now is greasing this 8x8 eight eight casserole dish. It's been about 25 minutes, that's plenty. Let's get this into our casserole dish here. Now I'm going to add our green beans. I'm supposed to put in one quarter teaspoon of salt and one half teaspoon of ground pepper. I'm supposed to put in an eighth teaspoon of garlic powder. That's about it. Now I'm supposed to add one quarter cup of mayonnaise. That's four tablespoons. Ah, but here's the coupe de grassi. I'm supposed to add two cups, that's eight ounces, of uh, cheddar cheese, and I've got sharp cheddar. You could use any cheese, I'm sure. I have here some super quality uh, parmigiano. I'm going to add this to the top. Only get the best quality. Oh, where's it going? This is not in the recipe. It's not in the dish either, it kind of missed. All we have to do now is put our Beanie Beauty in the oven for 30 minutes. Let's set our oven to 350. While our casserole is in the oven, I, I might as well tell you all, the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, everyone knows her, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself is coming over for dinner tonight. I wish we could get our relationship up to that next level. You see, I've been courting her for 50 years now. Yes, I, I love her, but I've never summoned the courage to tell her so. I, I guess I fear rejection. I, I wonder if I can somehow let her know without saying it in words. It's been 30 minutes. Let's get our little tot out of there. Wow, it's a bubbling mass of deliciousness. I'm starting the fish now, so I've lined a pan with foil. Like the directions said, I've used non-stick foil because you never know. And it says, place the fish in the pan and sprinkle with seasonings. Let's get going. This is like working a jigsaw puzzle, but I got them to all fit. Let's start by salting them. Let's add some pepper, onion powder, cheese, mayonnaise. I got about a half cup here. It says a quarter cup, but you know. It says a pastry brush. I don't think this is a pastry brush. I don't know. Looking good. Now it says top with a generous sprinkling of paprika. I used to call it paprika for like 60 years. It's paprika, paprika. It's all paprika up now. I'm supposed to bake it in an oven at 325 for 20 minutes, but it's thin, so maybe 15. It's time. Let's have a look. It's been 15 minutes. so good. I wish I could describe it. Well, here we are once again with that famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself. Thank you so much for stopping over my home. And uh, I uh, trust that you enjoyed your dinner. What did you think of my banquet of bubbling baked uh, green beans and beautifully bronze baked bass? Oh, it was delicious. Both of them were excellent. I enjoyed every bite I had. Really? Every bite of the bass and every bite of the beans. Lots of bites. Yes. In, of bass. Yes. And, and beans. beans. <laughs> you know, Miss Cheeks, I, I'd like to give you something. Could you hold on just a second? Sure. Thanks. Sure. Here. These are for you. Thank you so much. What do you think? I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Oh, uh, well, close enough. Can I have a hug?